Hey everybody, this is Joby, and today I wanted to show you this uh, fantastic lead that I got. Uh, it's called the Altar of Celestial Convergence, and um, I think it's beautiful. But before we get started, I'd like to ask everybody to please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Hit, please hit the notification bell because that's the best way to help me grow is to watch my videos every single day. I make a video every single day no matter what and I have about 395 videos in my catalog. You can find those by doing a search in my channel or you can watch some of the playlists that I've organized. If you guys like those, let me know in the comments. Join me on Discord, the most chill Discord server on the planet or hit me up on Xbox One, North American server. My name is Coyote, C-H-A-O-T-Y. Join my guild if you want to, if you play on North American server. If anybody would like to donate to the channel, I have a PayPal link in the upper right corner of my banner on my homepage, also in the About section. All my content will always be free, but all donations are greatly appreciated. All right, let's get started. So this altar of uh, celestial convergence only comes from trials. Okay, now I'm going to tell you guys how to get it if you're... Not in the trial guild, there's a really easy way, but uh, I'd been looking for this and I didn't even know where it came from. And then we started doing trials because of the Witches Festival and uh, lo and behold, everybody started getting the lead. And it's not a hard drop. It's like once you do the last boss, uh, everybody was getting it. Okay, so it doesn't turn off or on. You can just stand here and take a shower. Ah, I'm so clean. Now... I know a lot of people are thinking, oh, there's no way I can do that. I don't do trials. I've never done a trial before. Well, there's a way that you can get into a trial. And especially right now, it's super easy during the Witches Festival because everybody wants to do them. Now, the easiest trial to run, in my opinion, is Ethereum Archive. Oh, 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 one more thing I need to mention. It's only Craglorn trials. So it doesn't drop from, you know, Sunspire, Age, uh, Kinds, Aegis, or... Uh, cloud rest it only drops from like Ethereum archive um hell raw citadel sanctum ophidia but what we're going to do is we are going to go to craglorn and i'm going to show you how you too can get in a trial so i'll see you there okay so let's say you're a solo player and you feel you don't have any way to get into a trial uh and you really want that altar all you have to do is press start and uh if you look in the chat here because i turned off my chat for the videos but you see, these people are looking for uh, Skyreach runs, and this is a uh, normal Sanctum of Fidia need uh, two healers, two tanks, and some DPS. So all you'd have to do is like whisper that guy and just say DPS, and he'll call you into the trial. And then these people want Skyreach runs, and uh, this is a damage dealer looking for veteran Hellraw Citadel or veteran uh, um, Sanctum of Fidia. Now, you don't want to get into the Vs because, you know, that's going to be vet. Definitely, if you've never done a trial before, don't even think about it. Okay, so damage dealer looking for group in CR. See, this is what these people do. And all you have to do is go all the way down uh, in your chat box. You just hit the left stick over and go all the way down to zone. Press A, go over here. I would suggest, if you've never done a trial before, just do DD. And then you hit Y, and then you just put uh, looking for, and then just put normal, hit the stick twice for capital, A, A. Damage dealer looking for normal Ethereum archive. And then you're going to hit start like that, and then when you hit X, it'll send it to the chat. I'm not going to send it because I don't want to join anybody's group and then drop out. I think, you know, that wouldn't be very nice, but I would probably get in fairly quickly and anybody would now what it really comes down to is if you're scared or you don't you know you feel intimidated you don't want to go into a group of strangers you're afraid you're going to get kicked out it just really depends on how bad you want it to overcome that uh, social anxiety I understand all about that I mean I know it's uh, intimidating a bunch of people you don't know them maybe they're going to be mean to you or they're going to kick you or whatever don't care if they kick you out, just try again. It doesn't matter. It's not personal. They don't know you. So, you know, it's really just no big deal. You want the lead. You want the altar. The thing is, getting into trials is very cool because there's tons of really great gear. People just give it away. Right now in the Witches Festival, you get the Golden Skull and the last boss. And you'll get, uh, 
you know, the lead for the altar, and then you'll also get, uh, I mean, you might have to do a, a second one. But Ethereum Archive, it's basically like a, like a little bit harder dungeon. And with 12 people, you have two healers and two tanks. It's a, it's a breeze. We've done it, you know, twice in one day, and it's not, it's just not really all that. Did it with a bunch of low-level people, like 34s and stuff. So, uh, if you are a lower-level character, I don't know, you might want to level up. You know, if you're level 34, you probably can't even get the altar anyway because, um, you know, that's like a master lead. So it's going to be difficult to be level 10. You might. I don't know. Another option, um, and this is what I've been telling a lot of people. In my opinion, in this game, if you really want to expand to the content, if you're just a person that wants to run around solo and do the quests, that's beautiful. You just keep doing that. But if you do want to do trials... And you do want to do upper level dungeons, you know, like start progressing, make a tank and make a healer. Uh, just pick one of them and work on it. If you're going to make a healer, I would suggest be a Templar and, uh, you know, maybe look up online. What are some of the sets? Outcast has a link, which I'll put in the description where he talks about healing sets you need. And there's a bunch of them that are just very accessible. It's really no big deal. Uh, you can run White Gold Tower and get Spell Power Cure. That's what I run on my healer. I know it's uh, it's old gear. It's not meta, but it doesn't matter. My Templar can heal in uh, Vet Trials and Vet... Uh, well, the only Vet Trial I've done is uh, Mauve Lorcaj, but, you know, that was... Uh, that It wasn't easy. <laughs> so anyway, let's don't talk about Vet Trials. But Vet Dungeons, absolutely no problem. I also have a tank. Very simple. He's a Necro. Uh, if you're going to be a tank starting off, I would think be a Dragon Knight is the best way to go. Like a Nord Dragon Knight. They're super tough. And uh, my healer is also a Nord because of the ultimate regeneration for Warhorn. Uh, a lot of people disagree with that. There's a million ways to play this game. There's no wrong if somebody... You know, I was a sorcerer healer in Cyrodiil on this guy and people were all telling me oh you're wrong you're an argonian that's the absolutely wrong race for that and this one guy said you know elder scrolls is all about being who you want to be and uh i thought that was beautiful and uh after that i just didn't care anymore and that's what it is all about if you like a certain race and you have some affinity for that race or you know you remember from skyrim or you, that's what you want to be then you just be that and make it work because you can. That's the fantastic thing about this game. You just put in the work and practice and you can you can make it work. So there's a lot of cool things about uh, Craglorn that like if you're here, uh, let's say you just put into chat and then you just go running around looking for uh, different resources. Not only will you find those resources, but sometimes you'll get Nurn Crux. You can sell them. You can sell the fortified Nurn Crux and uh the the other nerd crux i cannot exactly remember what it is right now but i will uh i will put it in the subtitles there's two types one's for armor and one is for oh potent potent nerd crux and fortified nerd crux one is for the uh weapons one is for clothing clothing is uh you know it's only for trades it's used to be good supposedly but now it's useless I wouldn't say useless, but nobody really uses that. So, But, you know, you can see the resources. You just run around on the map while you're waiting. You know, you just keep putting it in uh, to the chat that you want to get into the trial, and you will get in. So remember, if you have a tank or you have a healer, you're a commodity. So just get on it and build it up. Like my tank's a Necro. Um, I used to have a Dragon Knight tank, but it's pretty easy. I mean, you got chains and... You know, just you're so tough and you're volatile armor, all that stuff. You're incredibly tough. And uh, you don't do a lot of damage, but man, it's fun. And people will want you to come help them all the time. Another thing with dungeons, if you queue on a dungeon, if you're trying to get your Undaunted, and you queue as a tank or a healer, you're going to get in immediately. So, you know, you can get a feel for all the dungeons and stuff like that. Well, that's really about it for today. If anybody has any questions about this or... Uh, Anything I've talked about in the video, remember, this is just my opinion, my philosophy.
You know, I see people in the comments are like, oh, you're totally wrong about that. Okay, I'm totally wrong about it. Doesn't matter. I don't care, to be honest. Uh, I, I play the way I play, and then that's just how it goes. So give me a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Leave a comment in the comment section. Just say hi. Let me know what you think. I love to hear from, from everybody. Join me on Discord. There's a link in the description. We have about 230 people in there right now. Hit me up on Xbox One. My name is Coyote, C-H-A-O-T-Y. If you want, you can join my guild. Guild's going like crazy. Upper Echelon Mediocrity, we've got 210 members. One member pending. And 32 people online. Today we're going to do um, two trials. We're probably going to do... We're probably going to do two Ethereum archives so we can get more people in here. We might even do three. Who knows? So until that time, let's get paid.